Hello people, just want to make another bullshit video about Australian coinage, even though Australian coinage is pretty boring. Um, we issue a lot of commemorative coins, but they're boring. And they're just granny bait bullshit. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Okay, here I have the current coins. One and two cent we don't use anymore, but the rest are still current. And here's the old pre-decimal coinage. Um, these designs were first minted in 1938, but they would have been designed sometime before that. Um, after this guy, George V carved it, and George VI took over. In between, there's a uh, pretty much a lot of bullshit going on. Anyway, these are the effigies of the. Kings and queens that reigned, um, well, since white people first come here to Australia. And these are all the Queen Elizabeth effigies. As she's aged, they just change the coinage. The UK's not used this anymore, they've changed it. Um, but I don't think we're going to change it. Um, <coughs> now, the animals on these coins, everyone will know this is kangaroo, the tasty kangaroo, they taste delicious. This is um, wheat, kangaroo, emu, they taste delicious too. Uh, sheep, oh sheep is beautiful. And this is the coat of arms, that's also the coat of arms that was on these coins before 1936. And this is the crown, has the royal crown on it. This was only issued in 1937, 1938. As you can see, it's pretty big. Its exchange standard would have been 50 cents, and that's just way too big to be used as a coinage in any time, really. Even the Romans didn't have a coin that big. That's just pretty stupid, actually. Um, okay, so this is the roughly the exchange rate. Okay, five cent was changed for sixpence, ten cent for a shilling, twenty cents for a florin or two shillings, fifty cents for a crown, one dollar equals ten shillings and two dollars equals one pound. But obviously these two weren't issued as coinage at that time, but they did have a coin of half sovereign and a sovereign, which has a different size and weight to these, so yeah, you won't find any of them in your coinage, in your change. Okay, um, this one here, this one is a ringtail possum. It's a marsupial. This is a frill neck lizard. Look it up, it's quite an interesting reptile. This is a short beak echidna. There's actually five species of echidna. Only one lives in Australia. The rest will live in New Guinea. Uh, this is a lyrebird. It's one of the older types of birds um, that is endemic to Australia. And there is another species that's related to it, but I forget the name. This is a platypus. It's a monotremine, means it lays eggs. And about they found a fossil that dated to 124 million years old. The skull structure is pretty much the same, but the only main major difference was that it had molar teeth. These platypuses do not have any type of teeth in their adult form. When they're young, they do start to form teeth, but then they are, um, are reabsorbed into the body. Okay. 50 cent coin, coat of arms again, has two yummy animals. This one has a kangaroo. Uh, and this one is an indigenous Australian. Also has, um, oh, seven cross and this plant is my favorite. Oh, I can't remember the name of this. Yeah, I think they call it a black boy plant. Anyway, you can, I'll put a link to this type of plant. And that's the actual only plant that's on our coinage. Um, I don't know if this ever going to change the size because the 20 50 cent is just way too big for economic purposes now. 
They should actually make it smaller, even though I do like the actual coinage. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my presentation, and I hope you would subscribe or at least comment or something like that, and like the video as well. Okay, bye bye.